All right, so quick, we got the supply line in. I'm gonna just show you how to how to run the little small one fourth inch tubing. So I just take the little pick and I just pick the little line all the way across to the mound that I'm using, like this low quad tree. That's a mandarin there. Easy way for me to do it because I always say when you when you're doing it yourself, you can afford a little bit more supplies or resources. Somebody else is doing it, they're gonna just throw the stuff away. But with me, I wanna have a longer tubing so I can move the dropper around the tree as I want. Whether I want it close to the root ball or farther away. So I'm gonna put this here. I like these, you can kind of keep them in there. You can kind of keep them in the, the saran wrap and just drop it right there. It allows you to kind of roll it out. I want to have it long enough where I can kind of put this anywhere. That's good for me. Make it a little longer. I'm going to cut it. Basically, I'm going to use the shrubblers because I can control how much water it goes. And if it doesn't work out, I'll go back to the little droppers. The shrubblers are like eight, eight gallons a minute up to like 17, I think. But you can always crank it all the way down to like almost nothing. So I like that this comes the stake, the shrubbler and the bulb, everything all in just one. I don't have to buy it separate. Other than that, you gotta buy all three of these pieces separate. Get my little, that's my. Poker? It's right there. So I go get the yellow thing for that. I got one in here. Oh, okay. Buy a lot of these things. Cause they do get dull from just punching and punching. So, I'm gonna put this on this side first. Don't let that get stopped up. Real easy though. Let me do it faster so you can see how fast I can do it. Just move to any kind of dirt that's in the way. I know it's right there. I'm gonna punch a little hole on the side. Pull it out. We just had the water on, so. Put that in there. Snap. And basically, that same little thing what I just made, I can take bury that line back again with that same soil. And if I need some extra soil, I'll go get some. Then we'll take the empty. Got I'm gonna do them do one more without talking. How about that?
Once I cut all that stuff down from there, <laughs> I'll move that. Once I cut all that down, then I can move it around where I want it. So, gotta finish up. Thanks, Bells, for that video. See y'all when we done.